Good morning students. So our next topic of today is human respiratory system. So in this topic we will study the parts and functions of human respiratory system or the organs which are involved in respiration in human beings or uh, next topic exchange of gases in alveoli and last mechanism of gas in human. Okay. So first is uh, the human respiratory system. So, what are the respiratory organs associated with the system? We will discuss it. First is external nostrils. External nostrils are nothing but they are the opening that is present on the tip of your nose. Through which the air get enters into your nose. After that, the air get reaches to this nasal passage or it is also called as nasal passage or it is also called as nasal cavity or nasal chamber also you can say it. Here the hairs and mucus are present which used to filter the air. Now the air reaches into the pharynx. I explained you before also. Like uh, a pharynx, pharynx are, is a common passage for the air as well as for the, in the digestive system also. So this is a common passage of air and uh, respiratory tract and digestive system. So after pharynx, the uh, the air will reach us uh, to larynx. Above the larynx, uh, I explained you before also, a glottis is present. Glottis, glottis is having a flap-like structure that is called as epiglottis. I told you, see this is pharynx. See suppose this is pharynx, it is the common passage. It is the pharynx and it is the common passage for air as well as for food. And here the epiglottis is present. It will always remain open. But when we are swelling the food, it will get, flap will get closed. So, it prevents the food to enter it in the respiratory tract. Okay. So, it the epiglottis get closed when we are swelling the food. Until it always remains open. Okay. So, after pharynx, the next part is larynx. Larynx is also called as boy's box. Boy's box or you can say, uh, the, uh, boy's box and it, uh, boy's box means from where, where we are producing the sound. It consists of two vocal cords. When air gets entered into it and it gets vibrate and it produces sound. And uh, this uh, usually pro uh, you can see in males it usually protruded out. Next is the air now reaches to trachea. Trachea you see it is it is uh, it is uh, covered with a ring like cartilages. You can see the incomplete she shaped cartilage cartilaginous rings are present. This is called as this is called as cartilaginous rings. It is present in trachea. So often this question is asked that why this trachea is surrounded by this incomplete C-shaped cartilaginous ring. So this cartilaginous ring helps the trachea or it helps to, to prevent it from collapsing and helps to remain it open. So these are the two reasons. So it is surrounded by the rings of cartilage. It remain, Again I am repeating this. It prevents it from collapsing. Number two, it helps to remain it open. Next, now see the, now the dividing, now this trachea is getting branched. This, this part of this respiratory system is called as bronchi. Or the, this bifurfic, bifurfication is called as bronchi. So, bronchi, if a, bronchi is a plural term, if we are uh, talking about one uh, bronchi, if we are talking about one, then we will say it as a bronchus. Okay. So next, after that air reaches and this bronchi or bronchus is further divided into the further divided into the branches which is called as bronchioles. And this bronchioles end up with this alveoli. Alveoli are the uh, alveoli are the balloon-like structure that is present at the end of bron bronchioles. Here, this is responsible for the exchange of gases. Okay, so next is, uh, next is lungs. 
we know the main respiratory part or main respiratory organ of this human respiratory system is lungs lungs is surrounded by a covering that is called as pleura okay now we know the 12 pair of rib cages present in the thoracic region thoracic region means the chest region or thoracic region so 12 pairs of ribs are present so movement of intercostal muscle attached to the ribs helps in breathing move so this uh, they this intercostal these ribs attached to the intercostal muscles and provides helps to breathe next last is diaphragm see diaphragm is a muscular partition between the thorax and abdomen so this is a partition between the chest region and abdomen okay and from the base of the chest cavity so it's uh, forming a base of the chest cavity next during inhalation okay point it out during inhalation it flattens and increases the chest cavity when we inhale you just observe uh, you just observe that uh, that the chest cavity increases you just do yourself you just inhale you observe that your chest cavity get increases and the diaphragm get flatten okay and when we exhale uh, and then when we exhale air this diaphragm also get relaxes okay so these are the respiratory uh, organs which are associated with this respiratory system now we will discuss about the exchange of gases in alveoli